The OS Siemens Group has ceased its activities on the initiative of the United States and France, said Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in Baku today. The OS Siemens Group is a body set up in the 90s to work towards a peaceful settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. It has three permanent co-chairs, France, the United States and Russia. Lavrov had previously stated that France and the US have no longer been cooperating with Russia in this format. Since the invasion of Ukraine was launched, Armenian officials have consistently stated that Armenia seeks a settlement of the conflict under the auspices of the Minsk Group. Meanwhile, Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev stated last week during a forum in Baku that it is time to say goodbye to the OSC Minsk Group. Lavrov said during a joint press conference with Azerbaijani Foreign Minister Jehun Bayramov that new processes are based on the three trilateral statements of the leaders of Armenia, Azerbaijan and Russia, the first of which, the November 9th statement, ended the 2020 war. Despite Lavrov's statement, US Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for European and Eurasian Affairs Karen Donfried said in an interview that the US is committed to the OSC Minsk Group. To a question whether the US is ready to cooperate with Russia in this issue, Donfried answered, yes, Russia is the co-chair of the Minsk Group, France and the US and Russia will continue that measure. Responding to Donfried's statement, Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said that Washington and Paris cut off contacts with the Russian co-chair of the Minsk Group since February 24th without any consultation, and that this has largely caused irreparable damage to the work of the Troika. And during a meeting with Aliyev, Lavrov also spoke about the work afoot to open regional transport links. Lavrov said that the trilateral group working on the issue is making some progress. Lavrov said that there is a general understanding of how to solve the problem of organizing car movements in the most comfortable way so that no artificial obstacles are created and that Russia will contribute to that work and a trilateral meeting will be held in Minsk between the prosecutor generals of Armenia, Azerbaijan and Russia, according to Russian news agency TASS. The prosecutors have already arrived in Minsk for the 32nd session of the Coordinating Council of Prosecutor Generals of the CIS member states. And Armenia's Ministry of Education has submitted for public discussion a draft regulation that would limit the number of students in classrooms across the country. It is envisaged that at the elementary level there can be a maximum of 20 students and at the senior level 25 students. The mentioned provision will enter into force in 2026. Until then, in the next few years, issues related to physical infrastructure of schools and the number of teachers and situational arrangements will be discussed. The current maximum number of students in educational institutions is set at 35, but according to the department, there are cases when the number of students exceeds even 35. Ministry officials explained that it is impossible to ensure the quality of education in an overcrowded classroom.